What's up guys? Uh, welcome to our new channel called uh, KZN Car Culture. My name is Ibrahim. Uh, you guys can call me EB. <laughs> um, we're launching our first uh, video for uh, KZN Car Culture. Brief explanation. Um, we are a new channel. We want to showcase all cars in KZN in Phoenix alone. So uh, I'm going to be showcasing my first car. It's a E36 328i. It was a, a auto vehicle, stock standard. Gearbox gave up, so we converted it to manual. And I'm going to go through and show you uh, the minor adjustments that we've done on a budget. So hopefully you guys can give us input on uh, what to do, how to make this car style, and so forth. Uh, guys, our our service is free. As I've explained, we are launching today our YouTube channel. So I'd invite all the guys in Phoenix, in Durban, come through. We will do drone footages for you, showcase your car, and uh, show it to the world. Okay. So uh, let's go around this vehicle and uh, show you all the minor stuff that we've done on a budget and hopefully get some input from you guys and around the world on what we can do and how we can improve this channel and grow. Here we go. Okay, this is uh, the vehicle. Um, uh, uh, Talk louder. Talk louder. E36 328i, which was a auto vehicle, and uh, we worked on it uh, on a budget. And uh, the styling was done by my son, who's actually videoing it right now. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go around and have a look at the vehicle and take it from there. When we purchased this vehicle about 12 years ago, um, we used, um, it was just basically a standard vehicle. Uh, it traveled throughout South Africa. We've been to Cape Town with it. We've been to uh, Warm Bath, Sun City, and uh, the vehicle never let us down. Just that two, about a year and a half ago, uh, the gearbox, uh, auto gearbox packed up so we uh, we looked around for a good decent auto gearbox but uh, you know the prices were ridiculous we even um, went to these uh, gearbox guys and I think the quotes and the price to repair the gearbox was way out of our budget so what we decided to do was just do a manual swap which was a fraction of the price so we sourced the second hand gearbox we sorted all the parts out and everything the dirt has been changed and yeah this is how it is today so uh, we're gonna go around uh, open the doors you can have a look at it and we'll do the engine bay as well so you can see we uh, are E36 lovers. So yeah, let's uh, let's go through. Okay, we're gonna open all the doors for the You can have a look at it from all angles. Pretty much standard. Nothing was touched on the inside. Uh, as you can see, uh, standard tape deck, seat sign, pretty good condition so forth <coughs> back seats pretty in good nick no tears no scruffs so pretty much uh, okay for its age the hood lining was done recently because as you know these cars when they park off in the sun the hood lining starts to sag and I think the guy did a pretty decent uh, work on it at the fraction of the price. As we've explained, we're working on a 
budget to try and get this car uh, up to standard. So hopefully with your comments, likes and shares and inputs on our channel. So we can basically uh, go ahead. We've got the drone here that we're going to take a little bit of footage from the drone. And standard uh, shuttle there and everything else. Uh, toolkit still intact. Cubby has a torch, but the torch is not working, so uh, we're going to see how we can try and rectify that. There you go, pretty much standard. So yeah, it's a, it was a change for me to start driving uh, manual because I used to love this when it was auto but uh, I really enjoy the manual now especially with the, with the diff has been changed and all of that so pretty much uh, nice, uh, exciting to drive. Let's open the bonnet and let's have a look there. <coughs> neat looking cleaned up yeah uh, there was some minor grommets that were missing and so forth so we've sourced we've sought okay so minor stuff that we did on the engine bay uh, just these grommets and all of those stuff so pretty much we uh, we've got all the grommets and everything so it's actually looking intact uh, no grommets that are missing and so forth uh, there was a device that we've put in this vehicle we put this uh, about uh, maybe about six years ago uh, it was a rust off device which we've uh, actually got on uh, on the net and guys I must say that um, it pretty much worked for me because uh, this vehicle we had a couple of uh, of deep scratches and all of that so I was a bit worried about how uh, you know the rust might catch on it and all of that hence we're saying it was a budget that we've tried to do this car up so we didn't have the funds to uh, get it a proper spray job and all of that so we just tried that out and uh, yeah it, it actually worked for a while because uh, touch wood there's no uh, rust spots anyway uh, basically that's the vehicle uh, lights we haven't changed we did not change the lights at all and uh, so we're just gonna put the lights on and all of that and have a look at it uh, we do have a set of coil overs which we want to put on the vehicle right now but uh, we're just holding on for that because we just want to run the vehicle in and all of that and see how it goes so uh, pretty much standard E30 E46 rims which my son decided to put on this vehicle so looking uh, quite snazzy I should say but obviously we need your you guys input and all of that so we can try and improve it uh, yeah let's, let's, let's have a look at the lights So yeah, pretty much standard in the front as well. We never get to use those halos or those things that you guys put there. But uh, we get there soon. But obviously, like I said, we need you guys input on whether this looks nice, whether it doesn't. And uh, we can take it from there. So guys, we've, we've just given you a brief rundown on the vehicle itself and uh, how uh, what it is like currently we we actually want to do some drone footage as well but we'd uh, we didn't we'd like uh, our subscribers to contact us if they want their vehicles uh, to be uh, showcased uh, number plates will be blocked and all of that as you can see this is our page called the KZN car culture our services are free 
so uh, there's no pain there's no nothing all you can do is like share subscribe and uh, we, we want all the vehicles in KZN in Durban specifically specifically in Phoenix because uh, Phoenix has a has a huge car culture we, we would like to uh, video golfs RXI's Run X all those type of vehicles E36 we also would like to video the guys that are doing their modifications in their backyards you know in their own garages and all of that bring your vehicle through give us a call I'll put my number up on the on the video itself give us a call we can meet at a place we actually here today at Konobia mall because uh, the place that we wanted to video this uh, this vehicle it's a bit windy and for the drone to fly up and all of that so uh, give us a call and uh, we showcase your vehicle we showcase it to South Africa we showcase it to the world if you need to be so guys uh, that's basically it uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, my son Akil who's the who's the guy who does the editing and all of that he's gonna do a, a drone shot of this vehicle and we are basically gonna submit this uh, we're gonna post it up to the night uh, on YouTube itself and please like share subscribe uh, this is a hobby of ours and we, we'd like this channel to grow so we can showcase a lot of other vehicles in the room in Phoenix uh, in Durban itself uh, uh, calling out all the car clubs in uh, in the Durban in the Phoenix area uh, give us a call if you want to showcase one of your vehicles uh, we gladly do that for you uh, we do a little bit uh, we'll do an interview with the owner of the vehicle and uh, yeah we'll take it from there so uh, watch out for the next video uh, we'll get somebody uh, another person who wants to showcase their vehicle and uh, we'll upload that as well so guys remember the channel KZ and car culture uh, we're new to this but we're gonna get there we're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna grow with your support with the uh, this car culture will go. So catch you on the next video. Uh, my name is Ibrahim. Peace out.